Ladies and gentlemen, I am Mark the Enforcer Donica, and I'm here to get some work done. Winning is my business. It's our winner today in his first match ever, wow. Mark the Enforcer Donica. How would you feel, you know, maybe if we did a little something with your image uh, to make you Lionsgate, Lions Den ready? Uh, I don't know, yeah. How would you feel about maybe joining our faction? Oh, oh no! championship. I'm going to win it. I don't even remember the name of the guy I beat. You know, we're going to set justice to this league by getting rid of that idiot. You are in the lion's den. And we brought you here for a reason. We brought you here so you could become who you were born to be. This is your moment. It's only a matter of time mm -hmm. before this image gets changed up and that championship gets on my shoulder. Tim Robbins. Our winner is Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Inner Geekdom Champion of the World, Jason Justice Inman. I still don't believe that Jason Inman, considering himself a hero, did anything to help his chances. But he should stay ready because I'm coming back as soon as I possibly can. And you're I just want to congratulate you on your win. Uh, Donica and Burnett have been watching them. They're good. They're good. You know, I took care of them, got them out of the way. I want one of those guys. I want the winner of that match. Wait, you want? Wait, who you want? The winner of that match. Donica Burnett. Christian, Thad, we're ready for whoever you want to throw at us. We're not afraid of anybody in this league. We are here for the competition. We are here to be champions. Christian, you know when Space Jam meets avocados, it's a good day. It's a special day here in the Inner Geekdom Tournament. Like you said, we're closing out round one. We got a guy named Gerber, but it is not Tequila Magnate Randy Gerber, and he's going up against an evil force known as Donica. I don't even like sharing my name with the guy. Well, the drama in this match has already started before the match has even begun. Uh -huh. When you look at what was supposed to happen here, Mark Donica, who is in contention for Rookie of the Year, he's the fastest track to a title shot, just barely losing to the champion Jason Inman, but he was supposed to play hey, Robert Meyer Burnett. Robert Meyer Burnett cancels, and Kalinowski says, no, we are not going to tolerate these last-minute cancellations. We're not taking no more special favors for celebrities or ex-champions. Doesn't matter what it is. You're out. You're out of the tournament, and he kicks him out. He doesn't care. And You've Kalinowski, done so. Kalinowski puts the call out and gets Gerber, or Thad gets Gerber. And here's Gerber, who had a nice run in the free-for-all. Yeah. Has had a nice run so far with superhero news at 1-1, one one, playing really well with his, his, his teammate, Sabina Graves. And this is a match, who knows? I, Donica is the favorite, but that's only because we don't really know a lot about Sean Gerber in the Inner Geekdom division. Yeah, Sean Gerber more of an unknown here because we know what Donica brings to the table. And look, I will say the guy brings a wealth of knowledge. The fact that I don't think he's worthy of the name Mark has more to do with his personality than it does his movie trivia know-how, especially in the Inner Geekdom. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Sean can bring to the table because it's already nerve-wracking going up against a force like Donica in any match. Must uh, it, Now we have a playoff format. This is going to, for the right to go to round two, there's a whole lot on the line for Sean. There's a lot on the line. 
line because the winner of this plays Mike Kalinowski. He's made that very clear that that's who play, he's going to play in round number two. It's either going to be Donica or Gerber. He also, Donica brings the Lions then with him, who's having an absolutely, uh, they're having a tough year so far, but they've got, uh, they have Jeff Snyder and mm -hmm. Bibiani coming up here on, on t in a couple weeks. So that's going to be interesting. But what's going to happen today? Let's hear from the competitors and see how they're feeling. Oh, Mike Kalinowski's pulling his strings. What a world we live in. He's sitting here. And I love that Mike's uh, done this. He's put his X's and O's on paper, and he's come up with some rules. You know, he's, he's got middle management written all over him here. I'm not even supposed to be here today. I was just sitting at home, hanging out, watching Marvel movies, and then all of a sudden I get a call from Thad, uh, frantic, saying he needs somebody. Robert Meyer Burnett dropped out of his, of his match with Donica. So... I guess one man's trash is another man's treasure, so here I am. I wasn't, like I said, not supposed to be here today, but here I find myself walking into the lion's den. You know what? The world wants to face this guy because Mark Donica is the standard bearer right now. This is your Rookie of the Year, Ethan Irwin. No, this guy has caused havoc here in the Schmodad. So much havoc that Robert Meyer Burnett, whoo, gone. Doesn't want to face him, keeps ducking him. That's going to be a name in the history books only. This is the future. Mark Donica is a challenge. Any man who willingly goes out in public wearing that much denim is a bona fide geek. So I have no doubt that that guy knows his stuff. He's a former number one contender. I was here when he played Jason Inman for the championship. He lost, but it was a tight, close match. So I know I have my work cut out for me today. This isn't about Sean Gerber. This isn't about Mike Kalinowski. This is about you, Jason Inman. I was this close. I was breathing down your neck. Come September 8th, it's going to be me at that stage looking at you and taking your belt from you and making it mine. So what, you got a couple of friends these days? Not worth it. I've got some too. They're the Lion's Den and we're coming. The Inner Geeking Champion. I'm not at all worried about the Lion's Den. They can do and say whatever they want. Donica can phone a friend. They can run in and give him answers. It doesn't matter. I'm after the Inner Geekdom Championship. I've got my sights set on a lot of other competitors here. Mark Donica's just the first step. Sean Gerber, you're the first in line. You're going down. Well, there you go. Ken Knapsack talking about that this is Donica's tournament, that this is this is Donica is going to win. He doesn't care about Kalinowski, he doesn't care about anything else. And then Donica saying the same thing. Get out of my way because I need to play Inman again. The winner of this entire tournament plays Jason Inman at the live event on September 8th for the championship. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that what, whatever happens in this match, we're going to see a lot of fireworks because, like you said, the winner of this tournament is going to advance to have the greatest of all stages, which is a live performance in front of actual fans that are going to be there. They're cheering, booing. This is going to be a good test, and it's going to be a nice notch in the in the belt, a feather in the cap, if you will. Right, and that's what Sean Gerber said, too. That he, he appreciated the free-for-all. He thought it was a nice moment for him, but he was number one. This is the moment he believes could be the biggest of his showdown career, and we're going to find out now. Here's the tale of the tape. What are they good at? You got Mark Donica. We, you got Star Wars or comic book movies, and the same thing with Sean Gerber. He's got comic book movies, Marvel movies, DC movies. There's a lot. Uh, these guys have similar strengths. We're going to find out how much they know. Who knows? more right now. <laughs> but bunch of geeks, huh? Yeah. How, how do you feel about this? You ready? Oh, I'm ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmoda. <laughs> Introducing first. Representing Superhero News. Making his inner geekdom debut. Sean Gerber! Oh, Sean Gerber. Yeah. Big right. ready. I like the energy. Yeah. Happy to be here. The crowd on his side. Yeah. Is he using the gold clerk's line? Is that supposed to be? That's here? right. Very, very Dante in yeah. a black and white setting. But now it is Sean Gerber in color in the year 2018. All right. Well, what can Sean Gerber do here against Donica? And his opponent. Are you giving to Representing the Lions Den with a record of two wins, one defeat in the Inner Geekdom Division, the Enforcer, Mark Donica! Donica's ready. The Glass 
Dagnino. 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 Yeah, Dagnino is nowhere to be seen in the intro, but there he is. And Very uh, hard to cut the sleeves off yeah. of a jean jacket. No Patriots. No Patriots here. Yeah, look, look at Ken. Ken shaking the hand of Gerber. That's nice. And then I think Ken looks hammered. Yeah, that was uh, Ken's been drinking some of that pineapple cider at the art house across the street. <laughs> All right, so this is it. Three rounds. Three rounds in the Inner Geekdom division. Mark, how does round number one work? In round number one, this is an inner geekdom match, meaning the field is going to hear 10 questions in the first round from 10 different corners of the inner geekdom trivia galaxy. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. Once we ask the question, please write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard in front. If you look at our competitors, already have the whiteboards and the markers up there like good gentlemen. You guys write down your answer. Once we ask you by name for your best attempt at one, please show the whiteboard to the cameras. At the same time, you verbalize it into the microphone. Please do your best. As far as punctuation and spelling goes, we will not be exact. All right. So, again, 10 questions in round mm -hmm. number one here. Mark Donica, are you ready? I'm ready for September 8th, yes. All right. <laughs> nice. Already thinking like about it. that live event. Like he's it. got a win today first, Christian. Does he realize that, you think? Sean Gerber, how you feeling? Even if he gets by me, he's not getting by the crusher, so he's not getting to September 8th. I'm ready, though. <laughs> then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to schmooze All right, question number one is in the realm of Star Trek. 20 seconds to answer this question. William Shatner appears in how many Star Trek films? Did you notice both competitors, like, they don't, they're not thinking about this match. One is thinking about the live event. The yeah. other one doesn't care if he wins or not. He, he just somebody wants else. the other one yeah. to not get to the live yeah. event. It's true. Are we going to be at that live? Five. I hope so. Okay. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Mark. Seven. Correct. Sean. Yeah. Five. Incorrect. Mm. Mark Donica going up 1-0 here over Gerber. Next question, Thank Mark. Thank you. Donica draws blood first. Your next question comes from the original trilogy of Lord of the Rings. Finish this Aragorn quote. The beacons of Minas Tirith. The beacons are lit. Gondor blank. The rest of that statement. Aragorn was great in Hidalgo. Five, four, guns, two, three, two. That's right. One. Pens down. And Sean. No idea. Is dead. Incorrect. <laughs> Calls for aid. Calls for aid is correct. <laughs> two. All right. Oh, look that, at Donica. I mean, he might die if he doesn't get aid in time. <laughs> I, haven't, I don't know how that played out. All right. Next question is from the MCU. MCU. In Black Panther, T'Challa confronts Claw in a casino in what country? You know, casino I perform at in Vegas? Chili's. Five. <laughs> yeah. Four. Looking for Harris. Oh, three. Harris. Two. One. Pens down. Donica. South Korea. Correct. South Korea. Got it. Two. Uh, three, one. Three, one. All right. Gerber on the board, though, and uh, that's got to help his confidence early in the match. Your next question comes from the world of Harry Potter. At the end of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, who was awarded 10 points for the bravery of standing up to their friends? We just need the first name. I would have this one Just I need the first name. I would have gotten this. You would have? This oh, one, yeah. Good. Right, it's five. You're a Sorcerer's Stone guy. Four. I like this. That's movies. your favorite Three. Harry Potter. That's not my favorite. Two. One. Pens down. Sean. Hermione? Incorrect. Ron? Incorrect. Looking for Neville or Neville Long Ass? No, Long Bottom. <laughs> long Bottom. Long Bottom. Did I say what I say? You said Long Ass. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Neville could have done it in five books, by All the way. Right. Next questions. Next question. DC movies. DC movies. What is the name of the company that Hal Jordan works for in Green Lantern? I like that movie. Do you? I do. I, I, I like it more than I like five. <sighs> Not more than the Dark Knight Rises, but three. You're just talking to yourself. Two. I don't like the Dark Knight Rises. One. Mark Donica. Ferris Air. That's correct. Ferris Air. Correct. Oh, okay. wow. How, how, that's Sorcerer. the one they both know. I know. That's the one. I'll tell you, they're both strong in comic book movies. All right, we go to The Hobbit. These are the other movies in the Lord of the Rings series. Um, the Hobbit. How many trolls capture and attempt to cook Bilbo and the dwarves in an unexpected journey? I remember that scene for the... I, uh... It, the, the, the 48 frames thing really no, I hated that. messed with Five. some people. It was weird, like right? Four. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Sean. 
Three? Correct. Three. Got it. Okay, so five All three. Right. Five to five three. three. And Donica opened uh, got a middle two oh. Once Gerber got on the board, he's starting to find his feet here. Yeah. Okay, next question's from the DCEU. This is a go ahead and just I'll give you the point. Uh, who plays the Flash in Suicide Squad and Justice League? I mean, there's there's a lot of people that play the Flash because you have that TV show. Yeah, which you is know, a movie trivia show. Our friend Mark Hamill, friend Five. of the show, is a uh, movie trivia into uh, we the CW. Here. We do movie trivia three. We're looking for two. This is us. One pens down, please, and Mark Donica. Ezra Miller. Yes. Grant Gustin would have been better, but it was Ezra Miller, unfortunately. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a nerd opinion in there. Right, That's uncalled four. for. All right, your next question comes from a small independent film called Star Wars, and it is, in A New Hope, how does Admiral Moti describe Vader's devotion to his sorcerer's ways? We hear a lot of these Star Wars questions in the Star Wars Championship coming up in uh, The Kleiner Collision. Are you attempting to plug something, by any Yeah, I just did. <laughs> Would you like to become a patron? Five, <laughs> four, a dual plug. three, two, one. Pens down. Sean. Was it childish? Incorrect. Outdated. Nope. Sad. So sad. Looking for sad. Sad. Won't, 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 won't. Next question comes from Marvel. Marvel. Who plays Captain George Stacy, Gwen's father, in The Amazing Spider-Man? Uh, how would you pronounce it if there were, like, multiple Spider-Mans that showed up together? What would you say? A lot of people. No. Five. Spider-Man. Four. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> Three. Two. One. Pens down. And Donica. He's an asshole. Dennis Leary. Correct. And no idea if he's an asshole, but it is Dennis Leary. He sings the song. Yeah. He sings the you song. Sing, you want to sing some bars? I've no, seen him no. doing it in karaoke. Sean, you know that song? You break my heart. Oh, you break sorry. my heart. No, All let's right. give Christian a little encouragement. To no. no? Okay. No, no, we're good. Let's okay. just move on to Mixed Bag here. Your last question in round one comes from the world of Mixed Bag. This could come from any corner of the nerd galaxy, and it comes from... Well, I'm not going to tell I'm just going to read the question. <laughs> Kim Cattrall plays the Vulcan Lieutenant Belaris in which Star Trek movie? Five, four, three. Can you repeat the question? Certainly. Kim Cattrall plays the Vulcan Lieutenant Belaris in which Star Trek movie? Five. Four, three, two, one. Sean? First contact? It's incorrect. Mark Star Trek Donica. 5? It is neither of those. We're looking for Star Trek 6, the undiscovered country on the verge of peace on the brink of war. All right. He so remembers that. Here we go. So that is the end of round number one as we now get to round number two. Mark, how does round number two work? Uh, Donica up by two, but Gerber coming back strong. In round number two, the wheel will emerge. The wheel of destiny slash doom slash potential justice has 12 slices on it. They are from 10 different categories in inner geekdom knowledge, as well as a spinner's choice and an opponent's choice. In round number two, each competitor is going to hear five questions. You're each going to hear five questions as opposed to normal four in the regular movie trivia schmodown. Your questions are still worth two points apiece. Uh, if you want multiple choice, you can ask us for options. We'll give you four, one of which is the correct answer. That will drop the value of the question down to one point. I'm going to remind the competitors that stealing is available in round number two. However, there is still no penalty for missing a question. Um, because Mark Donica is not only the favorite, Christian, he's also in the lead just by two over Gerber. Donica, you are going to have the first choice. Would you like to spin now or defer to your opponent? Call me crazy. You are crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Sean, go first. All right. All right. Sean okay. Gerber going to be spinning first here. Looking for MCU or DCU. You know, he's looking for comic book movies. I'm ask you, Jay Washington. He's got a bunch of heroes on his shirt that looks like uh, the Marvel side of things. Right. So that is what he's looking for. Round and round it goes. Still have a spinner's and opponent's choice on there. And Landing past. What's he going to Going to go past opponents. Oh, he might hit it could DC. be DC movies or heroes. heroes. And he's wearing a shirt of heroes. Wow. He's going away he's from it. He's spinning <laughs> against the shirt. Yeah, he's not wrong, though. He went against the shirt. Well, it could go anywhere. Are there though, any so. heroes anymore, Christian? Well, we're going to find out. What has happened to all the Cowboys? Isn't that a movie? All right. All right. Here we go. Here it comes. And we could be looking oh. at a spinner's oh. choice oh. here. Oh. Star oh, no. Trek. Wow. That was. Oh. Might have just sunk him. They looked obviously not like that. That is tough want. because heroes can come from really any oh. any different movie Good category, luck. but Star Trek is primarily Star Trek movies. I got Multiple it. choices. Here we go, guys. Yes. 
All right, Sean, you get five questions here in round number two. What song do Kirk, Spock, and McCoy sing around the campfire in Star Trek The Final Frontier? Multiple choice. A, This Land is Your Land. B, Home on the Range. C, On Top of Old Smokey. D, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. B. Incorrect for the steal. D. What did you say? Row your boat. Correct, for one point. Oh, Donica right. with the steal. Donica. He had guessed Star Trek 5 yeah. incorrectly for the Kim yeah. Cattrall question. All right, here's question number two. In Star Trek 3, the Genesis planet has caused, had caused controversy, so only specific vessels were permitted to go there. Which starship took Lieutenant Savick and Kirk's son David to Genesis? Multiple choice. A, USS Grissom, USS Kelvin, USS Reliant, USS Hood. Reliant? Incorrect. Kelvin? Incorrect. Looking for Grissom. 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 Right. Question three here for Sean. Question three. In Star Trek Beyond, our heroes are able to find the captured crew members because Spock secretly installed the tracking device into what gift for the hero? Multiple choice? A, a bracelet. B, a ring. C, a necklace. D, a communicator. Is it a necklace? Correct for one point. All right, that's about all you can ask for. Is getting Here's a the one thing I know about Star Trek. Right. Yeah. All right, here you go. Question number this is four. Question four. What are the names of the two humpback whales in Star Trek IV: The Voyage Home? Multiple choice. A. Abbott and Costello. B. Susan and Frank. C. Adam and Eve. D. Gracie and George. Abbott and Costello. Incorrect, Donica. The choices are either Abbott and Costello, Susan and Frank, Adam and Eve, Gracie and George. Gracie and George. For one point. Oh, boy. Yeah. What a steal as we close out Gerber's round. All right, here you go. Last question here. Sean, you have one, one last question. Leonard Nimoy appears in how many Star Trek films? 20 seconds to answer this one. Five, four, three, two, eight. Correct. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> two points. That, that was right. not a bait and switch no. where you're just going no. down to the wire for the no. sake. That was not done on purpose. Yeah. But what a guess. And that takes us out of Gerber's round because now he's only trailing by one. Could have been in a lot worse position with Donica big, stepping up to the that wheel. That was a huge get there, too, because he would have put himself in a big deficit. Donica. And Donica could have very easily stolen that. Yep, he could have. So this is big. Donica now wants to get something he can put the game away with. But he we'll see. Walks up to the wheel like he's going to punch it. Yeah, now he Don just spins it. Yeah, now Donica's is strong in a lot, but there are, he does have a couple of weak spots. So it, maybe Gerber will get lucky here, but we'll see. And uh, Donica focused on what wedge he is going to get. Round and round it goes. You know uh -oh, he wouldn't mind a Star it's Wars coming wedge. back around there. Oh, Christian, oh, Christian, this on, could be opponent's choice or MCU. MCU. Movies. He's staying with MCU. <laughs> Stay with the world. Yeah, he's looking He's looking to try to put the game away here. Of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. All right, your first uh, question of five in this round. Who did Lady Sif and Volstagg deliver the ether to in the mid credit scene of Thor the Dark World? The Collector. Two points. Yep. Your next question. In Doctor Strange, where did Jonathan Pangborn tell Stephen Strange to go find healing? Multiple choice. Is it A, Kun Lun? Is it B, Kamar Taj? Is it C, Nova Roma? Or is it D, Hyboria? It's Kamar Taj. One point. Yeah. One point for Mark Donica. And what great pronunciation by Mark Ellis. That guy's really on his game. Your next question. What is the name of Robert Redford's evil plan involving the helicarriers in Captain America, the Winter Soldier? Five. Multiple choice. Is it A, Project Insight, B, Project Endgame, C, Project Clean Slate, or D, Project Winter Project Soldier? Project Insight. One point for Donica. Yeah. I think he knew it as soon as I said it, Christian. He knew it. On the tip of his tongue. Your next question. In the movie Ant-Man, what food did Luis offer to make for Scott after he returned home from being fired from his new job? Multiple choice. Is it A, French toast, B, waffles, C, omelets, or D, pancakes? Waffles. One point for Donica, and he's chipping away his round yeah. like what Gerber yeah. was hoping to do with Star Trek. One more question here for you in round number two, and your question is, 
Ben Browder, known for his work in sci-fi television, makes a cameo in which Marvel Cinematic Universe movie? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Wow. I don't know how that's the one he knew for two points, <laughs> yeah. but he got it, and all of a sudden, what was Farscape. it? KG round negotiated by Gerber. Donica outdoes him in that realm, and yep. he finds himself sitting on an eight-point lead going into round three. All right, round number three, Mark. How does round number three, the final round, how does that work? It is the final round, the round that will determine who moves on to round two and one step closer to the live event on September 8th, hosted by us. Get your tickets now. Thank you very much for completing that statement. Each competitor is going to give us a series of three numbers. These numbers range from 1 to 16. Those numbers each correspond to a different part of inner geekdom lore on this very answer desk that we sit upon. Your first question is worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. Your last question, should we get that far, is worth five points. Donica. Uh, commandingly doubling Gerber's total thus far at 16 to 8. You will be giving us your three numbers first. One, nine, and eight. One, nine, and eight for Donica, Sean Gerber. Five, two, and 11. All right, so Gerber is up first. He's trying to avoid the TKO here. He, he can afford, he can afford to, to miss the two, but he has to hit his three and his five. But here we go. So, Gerber, you took category five. It's Indiana Jones. Great. Indiana <laughs> Jones. I deserve that. All right, here we go for two points. Where does the opening scene of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull take place? Five, four, three. This is wrong, but India. Two. And for Area 51. Oh, area go. 51, okay. Oh, so, that's right, with the fridge. So oh, now, so now Gerber has to hit this, or Mark Donica will win via TKO and go on to play Mike Kalinowski in round number two. Damn fridge bomb. You chose for your three-pointer Marvel films. Hey, all right. Marvel films. In the realm of Marvel, three points, Sean needs to hit this. All right, Sean. In X2, X-Men United, which X-Man could be seen given an interview on a television at the bar where Mystique drugged out one of Magneto's prison guards? Five, four, three, two. Can you repeat the question? It's your second one. In X2, X-Men United, which X-Man could be Seen giving an interview on a television at the bar where Mystique drugged one of Magneto's prison guards. Five, four, three, two. He's my last repeat. One. Last one. In X2, X Men United, which X Men could be seen giving an interview on a television at the bar where Mystique drugged one of Magneto's prison guards? Five, four, three, Two. This isn't right, but Beast. That is correct. Oh! Wow. That is I correct. thought that was in the other one. Never Again, Gerber, it. this is like the old days of the showdown when people actually went down to the wire because they the didn't wire. know the answer to the question. Yeah, he's used all of he's used, wow. he's used all of his repeats, but he has one question left. He could tie Donica could, with this. He could tie it and avoid the TKO. That I kept second guessing. All right, here you wow. go. For your final question, in order to tie it and avoid the TKO, here you go. In the realm of DCEU for five points. What is the name of the Scottish sharpshooter in Wonder Woman? Five, four, three, two. I just know he sings. One. I don't know who that is. And your winner! Charlie with Harley is who ran. Uh, he, he couldn't quite conjure it, but Sean Gerber, a KG match, but Donica, and he's already left the building. He's with, leaving. Uh, well, yeah. Well, he's, he's going. He's from already gone. Donica and Kalinowski is a round two match. That's going to be a fight. But look, Gerber put a Gerber took a last minute fight here. Didn't have a chance to kind he's of. He's fun Star Trek. I mean, yeah. he's fun Star Trek. Yeah. It's just a, it, it's a corner of intergeekdom that he's not that familiar with. He tried the multiple choices way around. Donica didn't have a great round two, but he just did the Gerber strategy a little bit better, and that really paid off for him in round three. Yeah, it looks like this is going to.
to be some kind of a fight here between the Lions Den now and corruption with Mike Kalinowski. Um, I, I bet you Kalinowski's happy about this, so we're going to find out. But I want to hear from both Mark Donica and Sean Gerber talking to Jen Sturger. Here we go. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here with the Lions Den and Donica. How are you feeling after that match, guys? I'm feeling amazing. I knew exactly what I was going to do, which was win. And I'm going on to September 8th to face Jason Emmett. I don't care if it's Kalinowski or whoever I got in my way. They're going down. Yeah, he murdered this guy, Uber. Um, it's Gerber. Or whatever his name is. He, uh, I mean, Burnett pulled the old okie doke. You know what the I mean? The okie doke? Yeah. No. You know, yeah, it's the okie doke. It's the switcheroo. Okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm going to Europe anyway. But anyway, that being said, um, we're sick of not having belts. We feel like the Viper Squad. You know, we, and we kind of don't want to do that anymore. We don't want to be labeled by any of these guys. But to We're be fair, champions. Donica's putting up a really great fight for you guys so far in Intergeekdom, you know, where some no, no, of the rest great. of your faction is kind of falling short just in the final moments. They'll be fine. Well, so what are you saying? Are you saying we're exactly like the Viper Squad? Said. No, I'm not saying that at what all. What about the other squad? The Fife Club? Yeah, that dumb squad, too. They have no belts either, right? Anyway, we, were, we had belts before, and we'll get them again. This guy is going to lead the charge first. Then Ken's going to figure out a way to do it as well. And then JT is going to win the, the, the heavyweight championship off that dunce Cap Levine. And then um, whatever, what's the next one? The, the so next tag team belts? Yeah, we're going to do that too. Cool. Next we're going to be facing uh, Mike Kalinowski. How are you feeling about this? He's running around so much trying to get corruption out of this place. I don't think he's had any chance to study. I don't think he's he's worth it, really. I he's think a I'll, big mountain moron. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to TKO him. And he's a choke artist too. Yep. Now what, he's like, what, he has that in his back pocket now? What's going on with this? Who's, Ken, who's, what, what, what how are your thoughts on this whole calling thing? the shots here? I mean, I try to understand a little bit of what he's saying there, but I think I get the gist is that uh, Kalinowski, this is all backfired on you. We're coming for you. Donica is the future, not just the Lions, then the future of the league and much, much more. Look at him. Look at him. We watched this game. This, this, I appreciate Sean stepping in, but we're talking about practice. We're talking about practice here today for Donica. That's what we're talking about. Goober, whatever his name is, right? It's Gerber. The Gerber baby. He's in the baby food jars. You know that. Kalinowski's a loser. Can I have a mic? He's a good looking guy, but he's a loser. Okay. Well, Sean, it's like your shirt says, I still believe in heroes. I do, I do. It was a rough match. The wheel. It just goes to show you, the wheel can either be your best friend or it can absolutely destroy you. And landing on Star Trek, I felt like you kind of knew your number was up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wheel giveth and the wheel taketh away. As soon as I spun Star Trek, I couldn't take Heroes just because it goes in too many different directions. I couldn't trust it. There were still two different Marvel slices on the board, two different DC slices. I had to go for it to try and get some superheroes, some comic book stuff in there. Didn't work. Got Star Trek. Donica you had multiple choice. Yeah, I mean, I just honestly, I was just trying to minimize the steal points at that at that juncture. But uh, when it came to the, but then when Donica spun MCU, I would have had two points on all those questions for the record. But uh, yeah, it was just it was a tough draw. It was a tough. It came down to the wheel, so it showed me where I need to go study with Star Trek, and that's what I'll have to do if I'm gonna when I come back in Inner Geekdom. I was just gonna say anything you do differently, but I guess what it comes down to is just learning your weaknesses. Absolutely. And focusing on them and building those categories up. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. My weakness in Star Trek was exposed greatly here, and it cost me the match, so that is something that I will make sure does not happen again. But we have not seen the last of you. What's no, next? No, absolutely not. I still want to compete. I know that I'm out for this tournament for Inner Geekdom, but as soon as things get going again, I'll make a march toward the championship, whoever it's going to be at that time. My money's on Crusher, but good luck to Jason Inman and everybody else in there. Uh, outside of that, then of course, Sabina and I are still together with Superhero News, so we're ready to get back into in team divisions. We're one and one, so we're not, we're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. We're ready to get back in there and compete as well. Well, best of luck to you. Get Thank some you. studying done. We'll I see you will. Again soon. I got to go watch Star Trek. See you guys. <laughs> Good luck. That's a long. That's a long day. Guys, huge matches coming up. So it looks like Donica is going to be moving on and facing Mike Kalinowski. <sighs> that's going to be one for the ages. I mean, to nobody's surprise, Dagnino making fun of Kalinowski, but then uh, everyone taking shots at Kalinowski. Deservedly so. But Donica very excited to be moving on to round number two as we're going to see Kalinowski versus Donica, old school versus new school. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, and, and Gerber Classy in his interview as well. And I think that he's one of these guys where it's like it's, it's, you're still young in your career. I think he's going to go home even this, this week. He might take and watch all the Star Trek movies. He's, he's, he's not that far off from knowing a little something about every wedge on 
on the wheel, just needs a little more reps. Collider Collision happens on July 13th. Listen to all these matches we got going down. In video number one, we start off with the triple threat match between The Machine versus Stacey Howard versus Andrako. The winner plays Ethan Irwin at a later date. And then we have a Star Wars match that is a different style of Star Wars match, or at least it's a different competitor than who we thought we were going to have. Tell us about how that went down. Well, we had Alex Damon, who was supposed to be going up against the champion, Sam Witwer. Sam Witwer is not going to be able to compete for a long time, so they were going to just award the championship to Alex Damon. He said no, so he put out an open challenge and hooked the, who took the challenge, but Bruce Green from Rooster Teeth they is going head-to-head -head for the Star Wars championship at the Collider Collision. And finally, in video number one, we close out with Dangerous Dan Merle makes his return. There he is right there going up against Dastardly Drew Guy in a singles match. That's the end of uh, video number one. It's going to be kind of a lopsided end to uh, video number one, but then video number two, we have two solid matches. Tell them about it. Well, you start off with the Inner Geekdom match, and that is round the first match. Well, one of the matches in round number two, mm -hmm. the Crusher, Rachel Cushing, goes up against Super Zip, Eric Zipper in a battle, and then the main event. It is an Iron Man match for the team championship. The Patriots oh. try to get their titles back against above the line Sam Levine and Drew McQueenie for the titles. It all happens on July 13th. Make sure that you check it out. If you're not a patron and you want to become a patron, go there. Check it out right now. It is patreon.com slash schmodown. Become a patron today. That is Chris Christian Harlov, I am Mark Ellis. Check out the Schmodown Rundown. Check out the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group. Ask to be a member. And in the meantime, we're going to go hydrate with the sports drink of Movie Trivia Schmodown Choice 10K. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Why is it every time I come in here, the horsemen are looking at Memory Road. Uh, hey, Snyder. Like, I, I just don't get it, Goat. I don't get it. Greatest of all time? What makes you any greater than me? Okay? I've defended the belt more times than you, held on to it longer for you. What makes you so great? Well, you, you and JT, so you're like half as great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. less. Listen, I know you and everybody else out there thinks that you're going to be playing Sam Levine once you claw your way back to the top of the league, okay? You've been gone a long time, buddy. This is my league, okay? I'm going to take care of Bibiani, I'm going to take care of Levine, and then you and I can square off the way we were always meant to. Listen, I just want to let you know, that's what's going to happen, okay? You hang on to that for me, okay? And I'll see you later. I'm just sitting here looking at pictures. Who are these people? What's up, Schmodown fans? Frank here, and it is time for your Schmodown Breakdown. And your winner! Sean Gerber steps in for Robert Meyer Burnett, but it doesn't matter who it is because Donica for the fourth straight match in the Inner Geekdom, puts up seven points in the first round, and that gives him a two-point lead after one. Second round wasn't too kind of Gerber as he lands on Star Trek. Now, Star Trek has been a round two category five of the 11 Inner Geekdom matches this season. Back to the round, Gerber goes multiple choice on four questions and throws up a Hail Mary on the last one. Good for two points, but still trails by one even after his turn. Now Mark Donica lands on MCU and goes 5 of 5 with a few multiple choices sprinkled in. In his career, Donica is a perfect 16 of 16 in the MCU. In the final round, we saw Gerber throw up one more Hail Mary on his three-pointer. Unfortunately, that would not be enough. Mark Donica wins 16 to 11 by TKO. In the tournament so far, this is the fifth straight match decided by KO or TKO. Inside the numbers, Gerber went 8 of 18. In total, nearly 40% of his questions on the day were in the category of Star Trek. And looking at Donica's day, he went 14 of 18 for 78% correct. This is his best performance since his debut in the Fatal Five Way when he answered 83% of his questions. If you want to find out all their stats about this match and from around the league, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter. And don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on YouTube and the Collider Factory podcast feed. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown.
How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the Patreon, you guys have a chance to support the Schmodown. Now, myself, Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. And, yeah, there's some really crazy tiers in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now, go enjoy the match. Go do it. It's a good match, for God's sakes.